Good morning, girls. It's Thursday, and it's currently 6 in the morning. As you can see, I don't want to wake up, but eventually, I have to wake up. Sad moment. As appointed by Stella on Monday, no thoughts from places video you can't go without brushing your teeth. So here I am doing so. And yes, I just want to go back to sleep already again and not go to school. Which would have been lovely. And since I am such a procrastinator, you see me right now doing algebra homework. In the morning. Not cool. And yes, I have to wear this uniform for school. So today I've decided to show you the wonderful city of Mexicali. The city is in a completely different country, yet I don't feel that distinction. I've been brought up my whole life in two countries, in two different languages, in two different cultures, in two completely distinct worlds, you could say. Yet when I think of this, I don't make any separation with these two cities I apparently live in. I've become ignorant, and I take it for granted. Maybe as you see this at home, you think, Wow, life depends on two cities, on two countries. How weird and different. But to me, no. For so long, I have lived half of my life in one place, and the other half in another. Everything I do or say is influenced by these two places. And only when I stop and think clearly do I realize that, holy crap, I live in two countries. Wow, that, that's kind of hard to process at some point. <laughs> but it's not often that I come to this realization. Everyone at school thinks nothing of it. So I tend to do the same. And this made me realize that Colleen is right. We rely on our normal day-to-day -day schedule. When one thing... No matter how small changes, we panic. And this makes me wonder what will happen to my family if one day the border to Mexicali would close. Vicky, I'll see you tomorrow.